All right, so now let's assume that Steve buys a 1958 Ford stepside truck for $10,000. Now, this is a classic. Because the truck is a classic, it, it increases in value by 2% every year. And so rather than subtracting from 100%, we're going to have a truck worth $10,000. That's our principal value. That we're going to multiply by 1 plus. This is 2%, so I'm going to move that twice. 1 plus 0 0.02. And we want to know if he holds on to it for 20 years. So if we multiply it by 1.02 20 times, how much is that going to be worth? So notice, $10,000 is our principal, 1 plus our R because it's increasing in value. Notice that we moved, we changed our R to a decimal. If you plug in a 2 there, you're going to have a very valuable truck, but unfortunately, it won't actually be worth that much. And then raise it to the 20th power because we're talking about 20 years. So 10000 times 1.02 raised to the 20th power. And it's going to be worth $14,000, 859 and 47 cents. All right. So classics are going to go up. Unfortunately, cars don't go up in value. Um, now we're going to talk about compound interest thing about compound interest is that it's when you get interest every single month or maybe quarterly throughout the year, but you compound it, you calculate your interest more than the once a year. And so notice how this equation changes from R1 plus our R to the T power. So we're going to take our interest rate and we're going to divide it up into some amount of parts. This N stands for the number of compoundings in a year. And that same N is up here. That interest rate, percent, it's a percent as a decimal just again, so you're going to move that decimal, that decimal on the percent twice, just like we've been doing. The 2% became the 0 0.02. So if you compound something quarterly, it's going to be four compoundings per year. If you compound something, something daily, 365 compoundings per year. Or in our case... Susie's going to invest $300 in an account that pays 6% annually, but it's compounded weekly. And so we take our $300 that we had, 1 plus our 0 0.06, and we're going to take that and divide it by how many times it's compounded in a year. Well, if it's weekly, that means there's 52 weeks in a year. That's one thing, one number you'll want to get used to because we're going to use it. And so we're going to divide that interest rate into 52 parts. She's going to get 1 52nd of it every week. And then we're going to raise it. And so in five years, how many weeks have passed? Well, five years, and I'm going to put it up there. So 52 weeks every year, so 52 times five years. So 300 times... 1 plus 0 0.06, and then 52 times 5 is 260. All right, let's see how much money Susie's going to have. So 300 times 1 plus our 0 0.06 divided by 52. I'm going to raise that to the 260 power. So she's going to have $400, $404.89. Four hundred and four and eighty nine cents. Now, five years, she's made a hundred dollars on the account. Doesn't sound like much, but remember, it's all interest. Only six percent interest, and she hasn't touched it at all 
Um, and so that's a hundred free dollars basically. And that's some of the applications. We'll deal with some more of them in class.